Hi guys, and welcome to your Tuesday, June 2nd, Stronger Together workout. Your workout for today is a 5K run. All right, so um, if you were with us last year, um, you should have a 5K run in Wattify to compare to, and we will put the date up there for you guys um, from the last time that we have uh, done this workout. If you haven't done this before, um, you have two options. Obviously, you can just go for the 5K run, but you also have the option of um, just running out if you 12 minutes and then trying to cover the same uh, amount of distance and the same amount of time on the way back if you don't have a way to measure your 5K run. For your warm up, we're gonna start with high knees, all right? So you'll do high knees, right? And then from there, you're gonna go into butt kicks. For your butt kicks, you just hands behind you, okay? After that, you're gonna go into a skip. You can do this uh, moving forward or you can do it in place, but you're gonna come up, skip, 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 okay? And you're gonna go um, through that. After that, you're gonna do um, high knee karaoke, all right? So if you can do high knee karaoke, right? You're gonna bring your leg up and over and switch, right? All right, if you can't do that, um, another option is just to do hurdles, all right? So you would do hurdles forward and then hurdles backwards, moving your uh, legs in the opposite direction. Finally, you would finish with toy soldiers. For toy soldiers, your right hand comes up, touches your left leg or toe, all right? After you've gone through your warm-up drills, you're going to do a little bit of stretching, okay? So you're gonna do a sprinter hamstring stretch. So you're going to go into a lunge, right? Driving your front knee forward over your toe, after which you will drop your back knee shift your weight back towards your back heel and lean forward over that front leg. You're gonna cycle through this for one minute on each side, just slowly moving through, all right? After you've completed that, you're gonna do one minute of a standing calf stretch. So find um, something where you can put your toe up, right, on that object, and then from here, you're gonna just drive your body forward getting a good stretch in your calf. Last is your Achilles stretch. So one foot goes behind the other. You will bend both knees, driving your knees forward, and you should feel the stretch in this back heel, all right, in the back of the ankle. That's where you wanna feel the stretch. And you'll cycle through, um, just moving in and out of this stretch for a minute on each side. Once you guys have completed your run, you're going to take some time to do a little uh, core work as well as stretch out. So. You will do um, a seated hamstring stretch. You could also do it standing, honestly, but seated hamstring stretch, right, for a minute and a half, all right? <laughs> so <laughs> you can kind of move about here, guys, if you want to do a forward bend and then do one foot at a time, whatever's comfortable for you for that minute and a half. After that, you're gonna do 30 side plank dips. So you're gonna get onto your side, right? You can use this top foot to help you balance if you need to. From here, you're just going to have, wherever your hand is comfortable, you're gonna drop your hip, and then push right up to the sky, right? Drop the hip, don't collapse here, and drive it up to the sky. You'll do 30 on one side, 30 on the other side. Then you'll go into that standing calf stretch that we did at the beginning, right? So again, foot up on an object, right? And just pulling yourself in to get a good calf stretch. So a minute and a half on each side here, all right? And then back to 30 more side planks. Finally, you're gonna finish um, with five sets of 20 Russian twists, all right? And you can cycle these in with your stretches if you want, um, it's your choice. You have a couple options. You could do feet on the ground, feet off the ground. Um, you could hold an object, dumbbell, medicine ball, or you can just do without, all right? So feet are up, you're gonna twist and touch, twist and touch. So every time you touch the side, you're gonna count a rep, all right? If you want, you can even do it with your legs extended but that'll just be some core work to add at the end of your run. Your core should already be pretty smoked if you've been pushing yourself, which you should have been. Um, but if you didn't, just will make sure that you get a little extra core work at the end. We hope that you guys have a good workout. Do your best in the run and don't forget to score um, your time because we'll use this in um, next year or when the next time that we do our 5K run, okay? Have a good one. It's Ben Cooping behind I wish, I wish